All right, welcome back to the vlog. In today's video, we're gonna take you through the life cycle of a cricket and the process that we use here at Shoebugs to get the best out of our crickets. So, let's get into it. Okay, the first things we do is actually take these breeding soils out. Now, I just took this breeding soil out of this container just here. Now, there's not that many crickets in this one because they're starting to get a little bit old and they're dying, but we've nearly got most of the eggs out of them. And you can tell why we've got so many eggs out of them. Is all these little holes is where they've all been digging down and starting to lay their eggs. And this breeding soil has also been in here for about two days. And after it's been in here for two days, we then take it down there, down to the other end. So I'll just quickly now get the rest of these breeding soils out. We've got to make sure you get all the crickets off. There we go. Sometimes you just got to blow them off. All right, that will do for now. I'll come back and get that other one later. Now after that, we take this down to the other end, which is where all our babies, our pinhead crickets, should I say, not babies. <laughs> and this is when we start putting them into boxes. All right. So we normally try to do two of these trays in each of them. And we separate them by just having these small bits of wood, which we keep up here. All right, just so then they don't squish together and kill all the little babies. And we put two in every tub, and just to take a guess at how many crickets come out of every tub, probably two to 300 at most. And here's one of the older tubs. And you can see just all the crickets sitting on top of there at the moment, and then under here as well. So after the breeding soil has gone from the adults into these tubs just here, where all the pinhead crickets are, we've then mixed up some new breeding soils, and this is just coconut husk, and we keep it damp. And I'll show you guys outside what it looks like. So it comes in a block like this, and it's dry, and you just gotta put some water on it, and once you get some water on it, this thing can do anywhere between 15 to 20 new breeding tub soils, so it's pretty incredible. Now back inside. Just out here. So there's a lot of cricket feces or cricket poo, so we just make sure we sweep all this up and get the tubs nice and tidy for the crickets to then be able to start breeding again. And we just put all the cricket poo down here and we use that for the garden. So all the tubs have been now cleaned with fresh oranges and fresh breeding soil. And the only thing to do now is to record all the information on where the pinheads came from and where they're going and what boxes they're going into next. And now the next thing we're gonna get into is moving the pinheads from there into the containers down here, getting ready for breeding. And the next thing we do is we grab these boxes off the shelves here and we make sure we clear out everything from here. And we tip all the crickets into this one container and these tubs just down the bottom here uh, to catch any food, leftover waste, or just anything the crickets won't need in their new home. And we take that out and then we tip this box, which will be full of crickets, down to there. So I'll quickly clean all this up and we'll get to it. Yep, fish too. What's 
And after we've got all the crickets together, and you can see they're all here in this box right now. We take the container that we were pouring all that onto. That's just the food, bit of poo, bit of waste that we're going to take out after. It's just so we keep the mess to a minimum. We put an extra tray down. And that's the next tray that we start pouring it into. And you can see all the crickets just there. All set, all in their new home. Now these crickets will be in this box for the rest of their lives, anywhere up to six months. And in two to three weeks time, the crickets will start breeding and the life cycle will begin all over again. Okay, we finally cleared out all the tubs. We probably cleared out about two weeks worth of crickets and we've moved them all down into tub number three down here, which will be their new home. And you can see already, there's all hundreds of them just running around, eating some of them on the oranges already. And yeah, they'll be there for the next six months and hopefully we'll double the population size. Okay, that's, uh, that's everything for today's video. If you have any questions, make sure you comment below or you can even just shoot a message on Instagram, I can reply through there. And if you have any other thoughts or you want to see more videos on the crickets, uh, be sure to check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Uh, we've got a bunch of other stuff on there we've done so far. And yeah, that's all. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.